Well, we have an Allen 53C, an Allen Long Primer. It's Black Highland Goat Skin. It's a first edition. I've got this bye bye for the weekend. So I thought while well, I've got it here, I'm going to do a review. Which, yeah, she's a nice Bible. As you can see, it's your Highland goat skin. You've got your normal, your normal um, lines here from Allen. And yet again, you have very nice corners on it. This, this goat is really nice. I'm not going to crunch it up because, like I said, it's just on loan this to do this review to do this review. Isn't it nice? Nice Bible. Okay, so it's a pretty hefty Bible too. Okay, so on the spine you have Holy Bible. You got Alan. It's quite a nice simple thing. The text block on this is actually is a block. It's actually square. It's not normally they're rounded. But this one's actually a block, as you can see. And you'll see why in a minute, because it is massive information inside. You have your three Beresford ribbons, and they're actually extra long, so they're quite long, these ribbons. I will get a tape measure, um, a roll on to show you how thick it is, because it is a lot thicker than your normal long primer. And it's two and three quarters thick, or one and three quarters thick, thick sorry. You have your normal stuff at the front. I can't show you the front page. So you have all the normal stuff and you also have the front page as well, which will have a name on it. And it's your typical long primer inside. I do like the setup of the long primer. I mean, you've got the dates up here as well in them of each page. The only Bible I've seen do that is this Oxford he does it. It's my old Oxford I've got here. She does it. And so does um, the old Scofield that I have. That also does it as well. But this is not mainly about the, this is mainly about the extra stuff you get in this. It is massive. I mean that's how much you get extra. And you can see it's it's a first edition YHR Fleet Book Foundry. They've got some nice stuff in this one. You've got here Animals of the Bible. It's quite nice. And about the Twelve Apostles. Lots of these charts in this Bible. Heaps of them at the helps at the end. I mean, you buy one of these, you really don't need to study Bible because this is just phenomenal. The information you get in this. You got some really nice pictures as well. It's at Athens. They're quite nice. And you've got the gods of Babylon. Mm -hmm. Also, I found that quite interesting because in my Oxford, because I've, in, this Oxford's got all the notes as well in the back, so it has some of the same things. This one, the Oxford actually here has more has more pictures and stuff in it, and that sort of archival sort of stuff and the old scrolls and stuff. I mean they still have a whole heap of information in here. You know, but yeah, they've had the same pictures. And some more Roman ruins. I've gone into a lot of effort with this with this concordance at the back of this, with all your helps. The ha Christ Harmony of the Life of. And you've got all, goes for a few pages, this. It's 
Some really nice helps in this bottle. That's what I've been doing, just looking through all the helps and stuff. You've got timelines. Pause this at any time and have a look. So you have your dates. Just a really nice bottle. They've done a really nice job with this. I don't think I don't think they can get you can get it anymore. I think they've sold out of it. I'm not sure. I never looked on the website to have a look. I know it's quite expensive. But like I said. Just got it for a couple of days. The Jewish calendar. Just thought you might find it interesting. Because I do. The Old Testament quotes. You've got all those. Old Testament quotes in the New Testament. Little references where they are. Same again. Just the information in this thing is phenomenal. Like I said, get one of these. You don't need study Bibles. They've even got introduction to your books and everything in this. You just it's all in alphabetical order, so if you're looking for Acts, you just go to A, look for Acts and that, and it'll tell you everything. You got introduction to Acts and everything in there. There'll be a a paragraph or so of it and here you've got the parables in the New Testament oh sorry the parables in the Old Testament sorry and you've got here you've got family trees in here And you got prayers in the Old Testament, and you also got prayers in the Old Testament on this page, and then I think I had prayers in the New Testament, or oh, maybe that's a bit further on. You've got your concordance as well. This, I mean, it's such a nice Bible. They do make a nice, they do do a nice job with these Bibles. I suppose that's what you pay for, don't you, when you buy them? Trying to be so careful not to not to wrinkle anything. I, mean, I wouldn't mind, you know, but I just can't, I can't wrinkle nothing. Just you don't borrow something and then turn it all wrinkled. That's for sure. This is nice. Just the leather on this smells so good. More pictures. What we got here? More pictures. You've got your Allen maps, of course. They're the same in every long corner. And you also get your lined paper at the back. And you've got blank cardstock as well at the back. And the corners on this is quite nice as well. Corners are fine. They're all good. Everything is good. Everything is lined up too. The block actually lines up with it all nicely. So it's all nicely lined up. It is nicely lined up because I checked for them. So it is quite nice. Nice and straight. It's a very nice Bible. 
there. I've got the little ox, oh, the old Oxford with helps. So, so hopefully this one will last as long as this one is, because this one is 1908, I think. Yes, 1908. So hopefully they'll get more than. Hopefully this will be around in a hundred years or so as well. Somebody will be lucky enough to pick it up. Well, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. And I shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching.